Ichthus, making the complex understandable. Let's discuss some application preferences. These apply globally to the composer installation on this machine. So let's go to Tools and Application Preferences, or you can use Control Q. In the initial setup video, we talked about checking Remember Control Bar layout when opening the application to remember how we've laid out our screen and if our graphics processor is strong enough to go ahead and uncheck this. In this video, we're going to talk about default folders and one kind of application preference that you'll find under the View menu. So let's go to a default folders. The program will automatically set up with each new installation of Composer, a set of folders and subfolders called Designs, Super Modules, 485, Settings, etc. for each of the portions of your file. Well, with this computer, I have collected more than one. One set for Composer 6, 7.0, 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, etc. Within each one of those, there is a set of these subfolders. Now, some people really like this fresh set of folders for each new version. Some choose to create a new set of default folders for all or some of these subfolders. And one advantage could be to separate out user-created items and factory-created items. A second advantage would be a consistent folder structure from version to version. For example, one might go into Windows Explorer and go under Documents and create a subfolder called Symmetrics. Then under that subfolder, create one co Composer files or designs, settings, super modules. You can call them anything you would like, and you can use as many as you would like and change any of these defaults. So once those are created, we can minimize these windows. We'll go over here and we hit browse. We select the folder we want. And once we're done, we can hit OK. Before we hit OK, let's talk about some of these settings at the bottom. Automatic changing of default folders and what that means. Well, the initial selection with a new installation is confirm changing default path when accessing a file. With this selection, the application will automatically change these default folder settings every time you use a new location for opening or saving a file. For example, you work on a file on one computer and drop it into a cloud-based folder uh, such as Dropbox. Then you go to this computer and open it. The application will assume that this is now your preferred default folder. And it'll attempt to automatically change this application preference for you. But before it does, a confirmation pop-up will appear. The third option, change default path when accessing a file without confirming, will do basically the same thing, but will not do a confirmation first. So the advantage of this is it'll just simply look for or save to the last folder you used. The first selection, don't change the default path when accessing a file, will keep all of the default folder preferences static no matter where you choose to access any file. You can still look or save, look for or save to any location. I personally prefer the consistency of this preference. Of course, any of these settings can be changed at any time. Once you've made your selections, then simply click OK and OK. Now for that extra bonus one I mentioned, in the view menu is where we're gonna find it. So let's start by opening up this radius in X. And you'll see in this partial file, I have an equalizer block and a compressor block going into an auto mixer. So let's open up the equalizer block. And you'll see we have this module open and we can make all the adjustments that we want to. Now we go and open the compressor block. And you'll notice that the equalizer block is no longer in view. Well, some prefer this very clean view, and there are times when you're working on a file and you want to just see one thing at a time. There are other times when you want to see more than one module at a time. Well, there are two ways we can accomplish this. The first is to do it temporarily, and the other is semi-permanent, just like any other application setting you can change at any time. So let's go into the View menu and go to Bring Module Views on Top. And it remembers that we had open our equalizer window in our compressor menu, window, and it brought these up to the front for us. So this is temporary. So we'll repeat this process. You'll see the EQ, now open up the compressor, and once again, the EQ goes away. Now, if we wanna keep this semi-permanent while we're working, we can go to view, module views always on top, 
and it will keep them open. Just for grins, let's start the process over. We open up our equalizer. We open up our compressor, and they're both there. We can even open up a third block, and they're all right there. So just like any preference, any application settings, within this application, all the way across Composer, these are all semi-permanent because you can change them at any time, depending on how you're using the application at that moment. 